Is sweating a good or bad thing during your workouts? In this video, I'll answer the below questions. How does sweating happen in the first place? Then I'll answer you whether the sweating depends on the workout intensity. And at the end of the video, you'll understand and you'll have a clear understanding whether a sweating is good or bad thing during your workout. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, then consider subscribing. My name is Ravi Thej and I am a body transformation coach. I help you to get fit from home. So let's get started with this video. Why does sweating happen in the first place? Sweating is body's mechanism to cool down. Then how does it happen? It's happen whenever our body increases its, its, its heat up, then there is a region in our brain called hypothalamus. And this instructs the sensory glands to start cooling down a body. How it, ha how it starts cooling down is by sweating. So uh, just imagine you are in a heated room, then uh, AC when you instruct, it will start taking all the heat out of the body. That's what is sweating does to you. Whenever your body increases its heat, heat, then the sweating process will cool it down. It affect the workout intensity. The answer to this is unfortunately no. It doesn't affect. So the sweating has many, many factors to it. So it depends on the humidity. It depends upon the uh, fitness level. It depends upon the age. It depends on the gender even. Did you know that, that men sweat more than women? Yeah. Talking so much about sweating, we need to also remember about one important thing which is hydration. Because while you're working out, while you're sweating, you're getting dehydrated, you're losing all the fluids. You need to make sure that you are refueling them and with a lot of hydration, drinking fluid uh, that such as water, that will help you to improve your workout performance. Going on to the final question, whether sweating during workouts is a good or bad thing. In general, it's absolutely a good thing because it's a body mechanism to cool down and if you are always heated up during workout, you will not be able to continue the workouts. So it's absolutely necessary that you sweat during the workouts. But if your question is, if I'm sweating too much, is it good or not? Or if I'm sweating, under sweating, I'm not at all sweating during the workouts, then this is the next thing you need to listen. After having high level of sweating, more than usual, it's called as hyperhidrosis. In this, what happens is the sympathetic nerves which control the sweating are very sensitive. So even if your temperature goes a little bit up, the sweating is very profusely. There are two types of hyperhidrosis. One is primary, second one is secondary uh, hyperhidrosis. In the primary, what happens is this comes from your childhood itself. Okay, So from your family, it has been passed on to you. This is the primary hyperhidrosis. Secondary hypohydrosis comes due to the medical conditions. It comes in your adulthood. So such issues like diabetes, uh, thyroid and the uh, menopause hot flashes and low blood sugar gout these are some of the medical conditions through which you can experience the hyperhidrosis you are seeing symptoms of this where you are profusely sweating then definitely consult a doctor you may have another question what if I am hardly sweating this can be of one important reason which is dehydration before your workouts. If you are not at all hydrated, if you are not having any proper fluids during your workout, before your workout, then uh, you will not sweat at all because your body doesn't have the fluids to sweat it out, to reduce your temperature. So the first important thing is be hydrated before the workout so that you can sweat and you have your body has the adequate fluids to sweat it out. If you notice that uh, you are hydrated well, but still you are not a, you are not at all sweating at all, hardly you are sweating, then do consult a doctor because this condition is called as hypohydrosis. And in hypohydrosis, this has a little severe situation because if your body is not at all uh, able to cool it down, that's the major issue. And it can also lead into issues like heat stroke and heat exhaustion. Conclusion. Sweating during workouts is absolutely a very good thing. Make sure you are well hydrated, you work out and also keep sweating. If you're having a question, what should be a max heart rate during a workout? What should be ideal heart rate during workout? Then check out this video, which I linked at the end. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click on that bell button. See you in the next video.